Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I have another movie view for you folks, because I'm digging into the past, as usual, because I'll be reviewing something rather low budget and rather obscure. Again, it's on my to-do list. Yes, sorry folks. Ah, itchy. Sorry about that. Oh boy. I don't think I've showered for a few days. I've been busy watching a lot of movies. And then it's, it's time I watch a movie, I write, it, I write it down on my list. As a reminder to review it. So I'm not going to review it, folks. So, I'm going to be reviewing something from this packet. Yep. 100. Yeah, 100 movies. Yes, sorry, folks. Mystery classics. Yeah. There you go. A very thick casing. It's like a, a ton of movies on here, folks. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's funny in part, but that's fine. I had this for quite a while. Anyway, the film I'm going to be reviewing is the movie titled Nancy Drew Reporter. And this character, yeah, has been around for quite a while, I guess you would say. Which is a thing, which I think is pretty cool, of course. So, if I, if my memory serves me correctly, I, I do believe that this character has her own, you know, novel series, if I, if I remember correctly. But anyway, whatever the case is, as always, I do have the time. I do have the top of the story. So, let's get into it, shall we? Oh yeah. Anyway, the plot centers around Nancy Drew, of course, whom is basically is in the local newspaper, amateur, reporter, contest kind of a thing. And she basically wants to help this woman, this, uh, this individual, because let's just say some trouble has come along. So, anyway, while I guess you can say taking part in this contest in this local newspaper in which I guess you can say this the school students are asked to submit a new story so also of course there is this local attorney this this daughter of course I'm referring to Nancy Drew she interprets uh, uh, I guess you say not interprets but gets into uh, yeah, it gets yourself involved into this real story, I guess you can say. I guess that's the better way of saying it. It's an, it gets into the assignment, and so she wants to cover this part of the of the death of a woman whom was poisoned. So now she drew... The thing is that with this character in this movie, she doesn't think that the woman accused of crime is guilty of doing this sad thing. So, of course, she does want to help get some help, and there's this neighbor named Ted, and they're going into this, you know, researching for a, uh, a piece of evidence, I guess you want to say they're going to clear the matters or whatever, and of course, they want to get the information, the proper information of what may have actually occurred, because... I guess you're going to say Nancy Drew leaves it's in her nature to do the right thing. Because she's supposed to be the good guy, the good person of the of the movie. So yeah, this is basically the, the summary of the story of, of the plot, I guess you would say. Why this film isn't, le isn't exactly a masterpiece, yeah that's the thing folks, I'm not going to call this movie uh, a cinematic masterpiece by any means, but it, in in some ways, I can honestly say that it's a delightful to watch it. anyway. I guess you can say because it's a pretty solid movie. I guess you can say. So I can say that the actors and actresses do attempt to give it, you know, give it their best. I guess you should say, given the material. And that's the thing, I don't think they may not be able to do a whole lot because 
like I said, this was cheaply made, obviously. So, well, but then again, there's been a plenty of low-budget features that were extremely well made. But, yeah, this was a pretty solid movie, I guess you could say. It's not the best. Uh, I guess you could say that this time be like a crime drama in a sense, in a way. It's more like a little adventure-ish kind of a thing. But, yeah, it's not exactly the best movie in here, folks. But, I've seen better. I've seen this collection does contain better movies that are far more interesting than this film, I guess you would say. But, I wouldn't say this movie's bad by any means. I, I thought it was a solid movie. I guess, you, I, guess you, I guess you can say, at the end of the day, this was a good time waster, I suppose. I guess that's, that's a good way of saying it. It's a good time waster. Yes, sir. So, overall, I'll say that, go ahead and just watch this film, and yes, I do believe that this film is sold on its own disc, so you don't necessarily have to watch it in this pack, but, yeah, if you just want this movie by itself, you can find it, go, you can find it on eBay or Amazon, or if you just go to one of those video stores, I guess, but, I, I, I guess if you can find them anyway. If you can find this film by itself and you just want to watch it alone, that's fine by me, I guess. So, but that's the thing. I watch a lot of movies anyway. Well, I am a secret agent after all. I'll find my ways. How do I have so much time to watch all these movies, folks? Like I said, I find my ways to do it. Yes, sir. So anyway, this film will get an overall rating of a 6.5 out of 10. It gives a 6.5 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. Until next time. Oh yeah.